to the political crisis in West Africa the military group that seized Para Niger last month says it plans to prosecute the ousted President Mohamed Bazem for high treason and also undermining the security of the country it's nearly three weeks since President Bazoum's democratically elected government was toppled we VE had a statement from the army the spokesperson saying the authorities had been gathering evidence against him and his local and foreign accomplices no evidence was provided let s have a listen to the announcement on national TV in any event the government of Niger has to date gathered the necessary evidence to prosecute the ousted president and his local and foreign accomplices before the national and international authorities for high treason and undermining the internal and external security of Niger following his exchanges with the nationals of foreign heads of state and the heads of international organizations international so what about the timing of this and what exactly lies behind this latest statement from the coup leaders let us ask our correspondent in West Africa and Keche Iguana who joins us and Keche good to see you what did you make of that statement what evidence do we think that they have what are the behind the charges and this referring to local and foreign accomplices, what do they mean by that Lucia that essay statement that was very vague and it was lacking details as to who these accomplices are both locally and international as the junta has claimed and we would be waiting to see what evidence is they have gathered over time, but this um. Comes um shortly after the co-leader General Chiani had said the coup was well intended and was aimed at staving off an imminent threat that would have also affected a neighboring country Nigeria apart from Niger where the coup has happened and this is coming as a shock because this is the junta who just last Saturday and said its arms were now open to negotiations and with the regional bloc ECOWAS to provide a solution to the political of us and if we had any response from ECOWAS to this. Latest statement from the military ECOWAS is expected to meet today um to discuss this new development with a size that the wider regional African Union body is also meeting today and the Peace and Security Council actually uh it currently trying to figure out new ways to stop the political crisis that is happening in Niger and we would just wait to see what they come up with but analysts have said that this claim by the military hunted could jeopardize whatever peace and reconciliation or diplomatic talks that would be happening today following these new allegations and of course the conditions that we hear President Bazoum is still being held and his family as well at the presidential palace do we know how he is because it's been three weeks and it's understood there in the basement of that. Palace have we seen them do we know how they are no pictures have emerged from what their current state is however we know that um secretary U.S. secretary Blinken had said he had received disturbing news about his state of health and um his feeding and other you know medic medical needs that he has been requesting for and there was a report last week that he was denied access to his doctors also an inside source that the palace had said his physician visited him on last week as Thursday to be precise and that he was in a good state of health but no other um statement was made as to details of his health that of his son and his wife who are all being held with him at the basement in the palace and Keisha thank you very much for that update good to see you thank you